Hey guys, this is John from Sonic Drive Studio. Today we're going to take a look at S-Gear 2, which is an amp modeler plugin from Scuffum, and it's also featured in the Slate Digital Subscription Bundle. Now before we go on, please hit subscribe and follow us on facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio. Okay, so there's a question that has been asked many times regarding S-Gear, and the question is, can S-Gear achieve great heavy guitar tones? Well, the answer definitely is yes, and I'm going to show you how. The first thing I'd like to address regarding this topic is cab impulse responses. In order to achieve great guitar tones, you're going to need some high-quality cab IRs. I always use Ownhammer. I think they make the best impulse responses in the business. They have many different options, many different speakers, and many different cabs to choose from. And since we're talking heavy metal tones here, they also have some great cabs for heavy metal. Go to ownhammer.com to find out what their collection is, and I'm sure that you will love what you'll find. Ownhammer IRs tend to work very well together with S-Gear, as you're about to hear. Let's take a listen to a riff that I recorded using S-Gear and Ownhammer IRs. I'm going for a tone that sounds similar to the guitar tones of Metallica, so it's crunchy, huge, and tight. The guitar I'm using is an LTD KH602 with EMGs. EMG pickups tend to work great for heavy metal. Let's take a listen. So we're achieving some great crunchy tones with a roaring sound. The Ownhammer IR that I'm using in the cab lock, or in the Pro Convolver Mark II, is based on a Bogner standard 4x12 cab loaded with EVH speakers. I'm using the Ownhammer 105 file from the Quick Start folder. The Quick Start folders in the Ownhammer packs are great places to start. I'm using the Room Thing module here set on room 1 mode with a little bit of size and decay and the mix set at 15% just to give the guitar some air and room. I'm also using the noise gate here. One important thing to note is that I'm using the graphical equalizer here. I assume that this amp is based on a Mesa Boogie Mark series amp and the graphical equalizers that are featured on those amps are well known for achieving high gain crunchy scooped metal tones. As you can see here, I'm using the classic V setting. Experiment with the presence and high cut controls to find your high frequency sweet spots for the right amount of sizzle. Use the SAG control to adjust the amount of power amp compression. As far as the basic amp controls go, these are my settings. Note that I have the bass control set to off, as well as the mid shift. The mid shift can work very well for lead tones because the mids tend to cut more with that shift enabled. I have the lead bright switch enabled and of course the graphical EQ. This button turns the graphical EQ on and off. The amp drive control is basically your master volume control. So turning this up will also result in more power amp compression and distortion. Be careful with this and find your sweet spot by sweeping it while playing the guitar tracks. One important thing to note is that the tone stack of this amp goes before the preamp. This means that the EQ here is meant more to shape the character of your distortion rather than the overall EQ. For the overall EQ curve, just use the graphical equalizer. Of course, I'm doing some minor processing to enhance these guitar tones with Slate Digital plugins. First up, I'm using the virtual preamp collection, the virtual tape machines, and last but not least, the virtual mix rack. I'm only doing some very small enhancements using FGS here. Boosting a little bit of high end to get some more sizzle. Cutting a little bit of mids, about 2 dBs of 560 Hz. Removing a tiny bit of lows with the low shelf. And also cutting some lows under 88 Hz. To showcase what a big difference IRs can make to your guitar tones, I also have two guitar tracks loaded up here with a different IR. 
In this instance, I'm using an Onemmer 4x12 Mesa Boogie standard with V30s, and I'm using the Onemmer 1 FAT04 file from the Quick Start folder again. Keep in mind that if you're using different IRs, you're going to have to tweak your amp differently to fit in the mix properly. The same goes for the cab lock settings. Let's hear this cab in action. <laughs> Those speakers also sound really good. Let's go over the processing real quickly. Again, the virtual preamp, the virtual tape machines, and the virtual mix rack. I'm also cutting some lows out here, cutting some mids at about 400 hertz, and I'm adding some high lift here with the custom series lift to enhance the high end of the guitars a bit and to add a little bit of sizzle. Let's finish this video by doing a quick AB between the two different guitar tones. This will give you an even better image of how the cab you choose can impact your tone. I think both of these options work very well and they both sound great. Which one is your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, just let me know here and I'll do my best to answer them all. Don't forget to visit ownhammer.com and slatedigital.com for more information on these great products. And also, please hit subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See ya!